Hello, Jesse Good here, and I have so much to say about the new James Bond Ashton Martin set that's beyond the set itself. Not only did I never think we would get a 007 LEGO set, but how LEGO revealed and released this was perhaps the worst D2C reveal yet. Like, I can see why they didn't just include a LEGO minifigure with this set. People are already complaining that the James Bond movies do not fit with the LEGO group's core values. Thus, LEGO put just the car in the set clearly aimed at the collectors. In a way, I think they'll see how people react to this release. If there isn't too much controversy, they'll go ahead and maybe do a bit more LEGO James Bond stuff. And for that reveal, so a crummy small image of this set leaked around two weeks ago. LEGO kept posting teasers and they waited until today, the official VIP release at the LEGO store to reveal the images. Terrible idea. Heck, Brickset put up a review of the set today, they didn't even know the price when it was published. The press release was only sent out to some North American LEGO sets, not mine, it was just a very strange situation. This limited the day one hype and LEGO stores barely sold these from what I heard. Few knew it was releasing and even less knew the price. Now I see a lot of people saying how blocky it is on the sides and such. Well, I like it, I mean I'm not super attached to the James Bond 007 films or books so that might make me more lenient. I know when Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean had the blocky front I was ticked off. I really like the ejector seat feature, that's fun. But again, there's no minifigures, nor is it minifigure scale, so it's not a set I'll get. Anyways, am I wrong in calling this the worst LEGO D2C reveal? Is the set itself actually any good? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.